Okay, here's a basic design I'm going for. This will be put into the water, cut out, and then molded to make this shape. And since it doesn't fit very well, I'm gonna have to, um, this is the only pot that I have for thermoplastics. So I'm gonna have to use this ladle to lay up the, uh, the hot water onto it. Here. Now I could use a bigger pot, but I don't really want to because I only have this one pot that I use just for thermoplastics. I don't want to dirty the other ones because it does leave some residue if you don't get all the parts and pieces out. And you don't want to uh, cook food in that pot, so you have to have a separate one. So you can see how it gets a little clearer. Once it's clear, you know that that part is already softened. Of course, it'd be better just to dip it, but like I said, I don't want to get a bigger pot. So you can see it's clear, and I can start cutting it now. I gotta hurry or else it's going to um, harden up again. So Thermoplast is, I mean, Aquaplast is quite expensive, but I got these from my children's hospital OT department because they were working with me on trying to make mouth guards and arm guards before and I noticed this material and um, she gave me some scraps so I could play with it and I found out that that's how I could make mouth guards for Davy and ever since then she's been so kind and giving us any scraps that they have from their um, the pieces that they make for all the kiddos and it's great because I haven't been able to find them I mean there are sheets online but they're extremely expensive they're like um 18 to 30 dollars for one small piece of of uh, thermoplastics so while it's still clear you can see how flexible it is when it's solid white it's very hard so you have maybe a minute a minute and a half to work with it while it's while it's soft If you make a mistake, it's no big deal. You can just put it back in the water and kind of like reshape it. It's not as easy as just working with a sheet or with beads. Okay. Now that I have the basic shape, I can start working on it. But before that, I want to show you what happens. See these little pieces here? You can't really use these for much, so I'm going to show you what I can do. I put them all back into that. Doesn't take long. Okay, now that it's completely see-through again, I take it and I can smush it back. Smush it together into one piece and roll it out and use it again for some other projects. So it's never wasted. You want to save it because it's so expensive. You want to save all your bits and pieces. So if I melt that, again, if I boil that again and, and press it together, it'll become even more cohesive. Now, this is a, an extra piece I made just for fun. I was trying some other kind of designs. So this is what happens when you leave a piece that's been formed too long in the water. It'll go back to its original shape. At this point, it's starting. Just takes a couple seconds. See, it's getting clearer. I'm just going to let it return to its original blob. I think this piece was a blob that I put together from tons of little pieces. No, you're supposed to do some more studies, Davey. What? He did all the subjects. And so now it has returned to its original form, which, like I guessed, was the blob. I had taken it in lots of different pieces. And so that's why it's a danger to put your piece in the water too long. A couple seconds is enough to soften it and tweak it. So that's what it became.
All right, so now I'm going to take this piece that I had just cut and I will put it in here and I will start forming. Where is it? Yeah, it's really see through. It's like glass, like glass jelly. Okay. It is a little hot, so you got to be careful. First part I'm going to form is the middle. And as you form, it actually stretches further and further, I mean, longer and longer, so I don't really want to do that. Because this mouth piece is supposed to be five centimeters, or 4.5 in, in the center. I cut it at 4.5, so I don't want to lengthen it. So I just twirl it like that make it a rod because you want it soft. This is a piece that's going to go in between the teeth. You don't want to have square edges, sharp edges. And we can tweak it later. Right now, if you can tell, I've made it round. Basic shape. And it's going to be like this. So now I should make it like this instead because this piece here is going to go inside the mouth. It's where, and this will go outside the mouth like that. So it's eventually going to go. And since I want to have a piece on the outside of the cheek here so that you could wrap a strap through, I want to make this piece have a hole in it. So do whatever you can to put a hole. Get either hope like that and cut out a small section. And once you have that hole, you work with it. Let's again. You work with it until it gets to be about what you need. And again, if you make a mistake and rip it, you just reheat it, I mean, reboil it, and reform it. So I'm going to take a pause and show you the very end product and set because it takes quite a while. And here I'm getting closer and closer. I've got the basic shape. I just now have to tweak this piece that goes inside the mouth and twist this one so it's on the outside. Okay, so I pretty much pretty much got the shape I want, the design I want, and then now I gotta just obviously I don't have um, the mouth of the child to try it on, which I always try it on David. It's slipping in his mouth, take it out and redo it. Um, I put it down and it's pretty much flat, stand it up, and it's pretty close to equal. Do it the other way. And now I have to take a look, see all these little ridges and edges and bumps? I will now spend maybe about 10 minutes dipping it in for like one second each time and smoothing it out with my finger. And doing that helps um, keep it really soft against your skin. And the most important part in all of this is, is this curve here where it goes into the side of the cheeks, into the side of the lips. This has to be completely um, smooth. And the thinner, um, the narrower, the better because then it um, doesn't hurt. Like, put it on your own mouth. You'll see what I mean. It has to be really thin. Otherwise, it, it actually starts to hurt the edges of the lip. And this part here that goes inside the mouth, you got to be careful it doesn't jut down into the gums. You want to put it up high enough, center it so that it just holds the cheek in. So, I work that. Oops. Okay. Now, so what you do is you would also um, find out the curve of your son's jaw, his teeth, and aim for this. Process of smoothing it out. And you dip it when you want the whole thing softened. You scoop it and you need a little. And so it's going to be a lot of tweaking. The more you rub, the softer it will be. Look for any sharp areas because it will hurt otherwise. 